Hello everypony and welcome back to Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders and we're at a cave it's a very dark cave and there is no light in this very dark cave and this is when the what is feature works out because I can see that there's an abandoned bird nest there so let's use our tree branch to pull it down yay and then let's take a look around kind of scroll the screen over a bit hello a two-headed squirrel somewhere hey look there's a fire pit let's walk to the fire pit let's put our tree branch in the fire pit let's put our bird's nest in the fire pit and let's light the fire pit hey we can see now whoopee so that tree branch was sitting somewhere up here. I think it was sitting on top of this. Uh, if you fail to get that before you put the stick in, you can get the uh, the squirrel's nest. Um, you do have to kill the unfortunate two. You do unfortunately have to kill the uh, poor two-headed squirrel. Um, I have had to do that quite a few times. So you'll see this little yellow marking here. Um, just use your yellow crayon on it. Connect to that. La 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 la. Flush. Well, what is this puzzle? So here we have some kind of pedestal. What is pedestal? It's a pedestal. The what is feature doesn't give you any kind of comments or anything, unfortunately. Um, what if we try to push the pedestal? Try pushing on the blue crystal. I can't move it. Try opening the pedestal. It doesn't seem to open. Try opening the pedestal. Also doesn't seem to open. Nothing you do will get this thing to do anything. That doesn't seem to work. However, strangely enough, uh, you kept something in your inventory without even realizing that you did so. Let's see where I put it. Where did the game put it? Here it goes. Remote control to your TV. You, you probably didn't even realize that you still had the remote control in uh, your inventory. Hey! Because I chose the right channel. This looks like an artifact. Well, everything just went dark. Luckily, we know where the door is. Apparently, that blue crystal is powering the uh, pedestal, and thus the room. I wonder what this crystal does. So let's head back to the airport. Let's use our cash card in the reservations terminal. Uh, let's secure a flight back to San Francisco. That tells you how much it is up here. You just have to be careful. Uh, if you need to, you can uh, read your cash card. And it will tell you you have 10519 Nice. An enjoyable flight later. If you get that, that means you did everything on the plane. If you don't get that, you didn't do everything. And if you lost your egg in that last bit, unfortunately, you're kind of screwed. So let's see if the mailman dropped off anything in our mailbox. Nope, it's empty. That means they picked something up at least. That's good. Do, 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 do. Let's walk back to 14th Avenue. So we have an artifact now. And if you guys remember from the last episode, um, there was a person saying, Hey, drop any uh, artifacts in our drop slot. Um, apparently the drop slot is already open. So let's give the blue crystal to the drop slot. Or use the blue crystal on the drop slot. There it is. Now we wait.
Hey, you! Where did you get that artifact? Never mind that. You're the woman who was in my dream. What a line. Wait a second. I had a dream, too. I was in a strange room with a strange man. It was you! Come with me. My two friends and I had special dreams sent to us by the Ancient Ones. You are the one they told us about. Give me a break! I see you're skeptical. You'll soon change your mind. In the dream we shared, we saw a strange device which we must build. Here's a drawing of it. Hey, that's it! The blue crystal you brought me is a part of the device. There's another part of it. Here. When whole, the seal of crystal shard will let you join my friends on Mars. Of course, you'll need a spacesuit. A spacesuit? Ah yes, here's your artifact back. From now on, we will all share knowledge through our dreams. Be careful. If one of us dies, it will be impossible to complete our mission. Yay! We now have the switch. So, now we can switch characters. We have four characters, so let's switch to Annie. That's this person. And let's pick up the blotter. Because underneath the blotter is Annie's cash card. And then let's go ahead and close the drawing. Let's see, is there anything else I can interact with in here? Seems like there was something else, but I can't remember what. I guess not. Open the desk. There aren't any, there aren't any drawers! Uh, what do you call these? <laughs> it's a Yeti skull. No, it's very fragile. That's all I figured. Alright. Um, so, let's go ahead and have Annie walk out here. And the idea is, is that all four of your characters are sort of in a dream state. Um, and basically all four characters can see anything that uh, the other characters are seeing. Which is very cool. Do, 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 do. Walk down here. And now we need to get both Annie and Zack to the airport. To do that we need to use the kazoo. That will wake this guy up. They're playing Pop Goes the Weasel. Oh, it's you again. Well, climb aboard. Now we want to switch to Annie so that we can use the cash card in the cash card reader. Just stand there. Pay your fare. I want to use the cash card in the cash card reader. Alright, let's go. Alrighty then. Now this is where things get a little complex. <laughs> um, let's use our cash card in the reservations terminal. And where is it we want to go? Uh, I believe it is London that we want to send poor Annie here. Exit visa code required. Hope not. Hey! That's cool! Alright, because I don't uh, have the exit visa stuff. Do to do, an enjoyable play later. We're now in London. We walk out here, we will find ourselves in London! So, at this point, we can literally just leave Annie here. Uh, nothing else to do with her for now. Unfortunately. I wish you could play as the uh, female character a bit more, but that's alright. Um, as for Zack, we want to send him over to Mexico. And this is where things get highly confusing. So we're going to walk out this door, and we're going to be in a forest. 
And welcome to a completely randomized area. At this point, we just have to walk, and eventually we will find our way there. Hello, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, can't walk that way. Go over here. Walk in here. Unfortunately, oh hey, it didn't take very long. I was going to say this could take a while, but it didn't take long at all. Yay. So let's walk up here to the temple entrance. Do, 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 Look at that teeny tiny little Zach McCracken. Uh, it's kind of dark in here. So let's see, what is the tunnel? Uh, there should be a torch somewhere. There it is. We can use our lighter with the torch. Yay! Now we can see. Alrighty then. Hey, there's the other torch. Um, now this place is also a little bit confusing. Um, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of uh, pattern to this. Uh, I can actually load up the, uh, the hint book. And I'm pretty sure that in my hint book I have a... Uh, um, map of this place. I probably should have loaded up the hint book beforehand, but a whale. Let's see, we are in the Mexico maze. There we go, the Mayan maze. So we started off here. Um, let me figure out where we're at here. I believe we are at D, E, and F by the looks of things. Um, so we need to go to D, which is this one. And now we'll be in this little hallway here. Um, for this, we need to do a what is and look around for a torch. Did not click on the torch. And light it with the lighter. Now I have to figure out where I am again. <laughs> so D leads to uh, U, I guess. Did we just come through U? Ah, yeah, we're at U. And we can go that way or this way, which should be T. Or this way, which is there. So we're trying to get to, on the map, we're trying to get to X. Uh, X can be reached by going to Y, V, or W. Uh, we can go to, it looks like T will lead us to Y. I know I'm saying all these letters and they don't make a, a lick of sense to you guys. <laughs> But that's the, the way that the map is organized. So this is door T. This is door U. Uh, door D led to door U. And then door U from there we can go to T. Which will lead us to door Y. On this map. Uh, so find the torch. Use the lighter on the torch. And there should only be two doors. Yep. So this was uh, Y. Um, so to get to the next area, we need to go in here. Then we need to find the next torch so that we can light it. And from there, we should just have to walk in here. There we go. Just like that. That is all we needed to do. 
So here we have this strange looking statue. Uh, there's also this metal plate. This metal plate was in the last area too. Um, this is a crystal shard. That's part of the, uh, the yellow crystal. There's a statue. There are strange markings. Again, they appear to be yellow markings. So maybe if we use our yellow crayon on the uh, strange markings. Ah, well, that's a thing. <laughs> um, we don't actually know this yet. Uh, I don't actually remember how we're supposed to find this information. I think I took a step too far. Uh, let me consult my uh, hint book real fast. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I needed to. Ah, right. I need to be on one of the other characters. Um, let's see. <laughs> that was permanently. Uh, let's see. So, uh, we can't do anything here, but this is where we're supposed to be going. I guess it didn't work. So, let's switch over to Melissa and Leslie on Mars. Landing site on Mars. I need my recorder open again so I can see my time limit. That classic 16-bit music. I'm getting a little tired of waiting here for instructions. Yeah, this place is boring. It's not a great, it's got a great beach, but no water and no guys. We should have gone to Fort Lauderdale for spring break like everyone else. It would have taken us two days instead of two months. And I wouldn't have gotten sick every time I looked out the window. Yeah, and in zero gravity, that sure was a mess. Alright, so let's figure out which character we're playing. Alright, so Melissa's the blue one. Uh, let's go ahead and open the shuttle bug. And open this. And hey, a couple of cash cards. Cool. Um, let's uh, pick up the digital audio tape. Let's see, what is on the digital audio tape? Razor and the Scrummit's greatest hit, Indiglop Odakrell. Okay. Now let's pick up the boombox, because hey, we might need a boombox. And which cash card is which? Melissa. Okay, so this is the one I need to give to Leslie. Um, we can use our helmet with the oxygen valve, or just use the oxygen valve. That will replenish our oxygen. And we can give this cash card to Leslie. Thank you. So let's explore Mars a little bit. Over here we have a huge face. Um, some kind of thing here. If I push on one of these. Push a button. Did nothing. <laughs> Actually, this is a puzzle for uh, later. So let's head back to the landing site. And there's nothing we can do over there. Uh, let's walk to this door here. Hmm. Let's bring Leslie in here. And I just did that again. Sorry, that's the uh, ScumVM status window. Uh, ScumVM is the uh, emulator that you have to use to play this game. Uh, it comes bundled with the game, actually. So, if you buy it at, on uh, GOG.com. And actually, I think I needed the fuse from the uh, 
of the shuttle bug. So let's go back in the shuttle bug. Let's pick up the fuse and return to the hostel. What is sign? Read the sign. Hmm, it's in several alien languages. Ah, here's English. Welcome space travelers. Please leave the friendly hostel as you found it. No gum chewing. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and give the fuse to Melissa, who's going to be doing everything here. Now then, let's see if we can't close the Mars door. It seems to be broken. Alrighty, switch over to Melissa. And let's open the metal plate. It's screwed shut. Well, what can we do about that? Can we use our cash card to twist it open? That doesn't seem to work. Um, there's a coin or something. Ah, right. There's a coin, actually. Let's go over here. And there's this massive little monolith over here. Let's use our cash card in the monolith. And it will give us a token for the tram. A token. Awesome. And that is what we can use to open the fuse box. Let's open this. Looks like a broken fuse. Let's pick up the fuse. Hmm, it crumbled to dust in my hands. So switch to Melissa because she has the fuse. And let's use it in the fuse box. That ought to fix it. Now let's close the fuse box. That doesn't seem to work. Can I not close the fuse box? There we go. And let's uh, push the button. Cool. Uh, there's another button we have to push somewhere. I have to remember where. <laughs> is it this lever? What is sign? Don't be a space goof. Always wear your space suit. Reminder from the friendly hostel. Alrighty then. Uh, maybe if I just push the switch? That doesn't seem to work. Uh, oh, because it didn't actually hit the switch. Yay! There's the oxygen. So, let's go ahead and take off our helmets, since there's oxygen here. And we don't need to be using up um, our oxygen. So here are Leslie and Melissa. Yes, Leslie has wonderful green hair. I do not know why. <laughs> so uh, I think I'll go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, next episode, we will go ahead and step into the friendly hostel and explore, find out what is inside. And who knows, maybe we will find the strange markings that we need to help poor Zach McCracken out. So if you've been enjoying, please feel free to subscribe and please feel free to leave a like. And I will see everypony next time. Keep calm and pony on everypony. <laughs>